feeling, boys. It's one on one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Tin Horse Monty YouTube channel. We just got to the lake. It's mid-morning. We had a lot of rain pushed through last night post frontal conditions you know the last five six days the air temps have been in the 70s it's been sunny the water's been warming up front pushing through yesterday rain all day long off and on some thunder lightning that kind of stuff today cloudy conditions barometer is rising so it's that early spring post frontal deal that happens multiple times before things start stabilizing the water is high and it is stained didn't get a ton of rain last night but we got a enough to keep the muddy water going it's been staying for a while actually and it's definitely not going to clear up for a while um so we're gonna go out there and try to catch some fish in post frontal conditions talk about what's going on some of the changes and um baits that i'll be using today i got all kinds of crap today i mean still got the jerk bait gotta have the jerk bait this time of the year got crank baits got a little silent lipless kind of curious to see if i can get bit on that gonna throw that around a little bit Got all kinds of stuff, man. I just brought everything. I got the Dream Express lures, the Pinky Deluxe from June Shoji there. Pretty sweet little glide bait slash crank, crank bait. Got the tube. You didn't see the stupid tube video I did. The stupid tube is a killer this time of year. Got to have it in the boat. You know, I got fluke style bait, got hard head, got a little bit of everything. So we're gonna dump this boat in the water, see if we can catch some fish. Here we go. Nice fish. Swim jig, guys. Nice. There we go. There we go, guys. Look at there. Little Cumberland Pro. Limit out. Compact swim jig. Nice. That was cool. Midnight Chad. Got a big uh, rage crawl on the back. Just slow rolling in like two feet of water. Super stained back here. Water temp's 45 degrees. 44 degrees, I think. Slow rolling swim jig. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Got a little bit of belly on them. Getting close to spawn. They're starting to move back a little bit. That's fun. That was fun. Nice. There he is. What the heck? What are you doing? It's aggressive little fish. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, we got off. That's a good fish. Holy moly. All right, folks, I made a little move. Ran up to the northern section of this lake to try to get out of the wind a little bit. The wind's really blowing. It's pulse funnel conditions. Air temps, you know, started out like 42, 43. It's probably 50. Feels decent out here as long as you're out of the wind. Overcast conditions. Water's a little clear up here. And I think it's going to be like a flipping type bite. I think I need to really focus on pitching to wood and rock. Just pulling this little bitty cut. And we got some rock over here. You see that natural rock all the way down this bank? Now, it's going to be shallow. It's going to be grass mix in there. But I'm looking for like that lay down right there. That's the kind of stuff that I'm keying on. Lay down with a little bit of rock mixed in. You got a little bitty small lay down right up here in front of the boat. And then a couple more little small lay downs. But I think I'm going to spin a couple hours just trying to run that kind of stuff to see if I can get some feedback. Now the barometer's rising. It's really 
it was really low last night and early this morning it started turning around started rising so if the sun pops out it's probably going to get really tough Did you come in on this side and go all the way down? No, I went all the way back first. Okay. I worked my way out. I, I, I went in, and there's a bunch of bait sitting out in the middle. And I, uh, I fished a trap through that. There was like, as I was pulling in on side scan, there was, I saw like, doom, 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 three giant dots. Little guy. Little guy, he was out off the bank. Just throwing a little beaver man, flipping around this grass, wood, rock type stuff. Slow out here. Happy to have that fish. Fish. Yeah. On that little stump. I don't even know what this is. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, folks. Post front tube fish, baby. Nice. Right here. Oh, yeah. There, boys and girls. Look at there. That's a fat old fish. Okay, so not that little lay down, but that little lay down right here. I'll show you. Right there. That's where that fish came off of. That's a beauty. That's a beauty, mate. Nice. Don't that little stupid tube again. It's really tough. Got post frontal conditions. It's kind of a bluff wall. And I would imagine that fish is up there looking around. It's getting close. It's got a little bit of a belly. Maybe it's a male, I don't know, but really solid fish, man. On that old stupid tube again. Talked about it in the last video. If you haven't seen it, check it out, man. It's really good this time of year. Water's like 49 degrees, a little bit warm over here, but awesome fish. All right, nice fish. The fish is like 20 inches long. Back, probably four and a half pound or something like that. I don't know. Didn't weigh it. I never do. I just like catching them. Let's let her go. Thank you. Get on out of here, baby. Beautiful fish. See how dirty that water is. Nice. Good times, man. Good times. It's slow. Pulse frontal. Got to work around. Sometimes you got to slow down. Gotta slow down. Usually these fish get really tight to wood or grass. They just get tight to the cover when it gets funky out here. You just got to fish slow. Take your time. Pick it apart. All right, we have made another move. Went to the back of another creek. Got a lot of laydowns back here. Dirty water once again, kind of out of the wind. This is kind of a pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn post type area. Don't know if there'll be fish back here yet, but we're gonna go down and flip some of these laydowns, see if we can get some feedback. And we may have to make another adjustment. You know, post-frontal conditions, fish really slow down. You gotta put the bait right on their head. Water temps like, you know, we've got 50 degrees back here, which is kind of nice, but it's been warming and then it'll cool off for a couple of days. So it's just been kind of up and down. You need stable weather for the fish really get shallow and start turning on. So we're gonna cover some water, see if we can get a few bites. There he is. Little guy. Little guy moving up there, looking for a place to make a bed. It's all right, take him. Tough post frontal day.
There he is, right on the lay down. Right. A little male. So definitely got a pattern going. I mean, we're not catching big fish, but we do have a pattern. So rock, lay down, wood. Fish was sitting right up there in like two foot of water. What's up, folks? It's a post front day. It's a little bit slow out here. Just got to keep grinding. I've been throwing moving baits. Cannot really get bit covering water, throwing a spinner bait, chatter bait. I talked to Jonathan Blattle, and he spent a lot of time with a big spinner bait, with a chatter bait, and just could not get bit. He had to actually slow down and start flipping a jig to get a few bites. And that's kind of what I've been finding. I did catch one decent fish on a swim jig, way in the back of a pocket, just throwing basically a black and blue swim jig this is the limit out compact swim jig by cumberland pro lures quarter ounce just had a rage crawl in there i like a rage crawl when i'm fishing really shallow like zero to five feet you can really slow roll this thing this is a great color in stained water you know white or something like black and blue this is called midnight shad i believe but great little swim bait 15 pound test seven foot medium heavy rod seven to one gear ratio reel but I couldn't, that's the only bite I got. You know, it was a nice fish. In fact, they're shallow and they're just really, really scattered. So I picked up a tube and a tube is something that I have a lot of confidence in this time of the year. It's got that slow, subtle fall rate. It seems to get bites when the fish are in a negative mood. And I've got a 3 16 ounce jig head inside of this tube. This is just a four inch flipping tube, 15 pound test. I've got a seven foot medium heavy falcon cara seven to one gear ratio reel i did a tube video recently if you haven't checked that out go back and check that out i talk about this a lot more in detail but i did catch one really nice fish best fish of the day on this stupid tube so springtime dirty water stupid tube is a good way to get bites in post frontal conditions and the bait that i caught most of my fish on today so far Still got a little bit of time left, but this is just a Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver. And I've got this rigged on one of those BMC ring hooks. They're really cool. So quarter ounce weight, got 17 pound test, and this has got a little ring. It's a welded ring. It gives it a lot of action. It's kind of like a swing head, um, you know, a hard head. It's got the same kind of concept. You get all this freedom. So just a four aught BMC hook, Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver. And I had a quarter ounce tungsten weight. Now, I was targeting wood. You know, I've been targeting laydowns and wood. And that seems to be where I'm getting my bites. Um, rock in the area. There's, of course, there's grass everywhere over here. But if you find a little rocky stretch that's got a few little small laydowns on it, you can go down through it and pick up a few bites. They're not everywhere. They're still scattered. A lot of these are males that are just pulling up. It's that time of year. The water temp's been anywhere from 46 to 52. Back in some of these um, north south facing pockets you're going to hit 52 degrees up really really shallow but it just doesn't seem to be a lot of activity for me it's it's pretty slow and that's typical for post frontal there's kind of two ways to attack post frontal conditions most of the time the fish are not going to leave the areas especially in the spring they're moving back they're moving they're setting up to spawn it's that time of year most of the time they're just going to stay where they're at and they're going to get really tight to hard cover that's why i've been targeting the laydowns they're just going to get really really tight and a lot of times they won't chase anything. You got to put it right on their head. You got to kind of keep it in their face and entice them. Or they will drop out to the first available hard piece of cover. Um, we've got really stained water, which is why these fish are most likely going to be staying up shallow, even after a cold front. If you got a little bit clear water, those fish will pull out and they'll go to the nearest little rock pile, the nearest deep lay down, the nearest brush pile, something that they can just kind of Go out there get a little bit of deeper water and just kind of chill and wait for things to get right so they can move back up but targeting hard cover after post post front after cold front post front conditions um is a great way to go you, you know there's fish in this grass too but it's just so dirty and the grass is real slimy that it seems like the most productive the most um bang for your buck is just to target these laydowns so we got a little bit of time I'm going to go back out there and kind of try to run this pattern a little more and see if we can find a few more fish.
the beaver fish. <coughs> it's got to slow down, a little male. Beaver dam. Right off that beaver dam. Beaver dam? Beaver fish. Yeah. Got these males getting up there, man. Looking around. That's where he's got a little rough patch on his tongue. Good one, boys. That's what we wanted. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, doggy. Come on, baby. I mean, this is a freaking tank, guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, my God, it's a flathead. <laughs> no wonder. Oh, my God. That fish hammered it. <laughs> Dude, I thought I had a 10 pound bass. I thought I had freaking Moby. That's a good, that's a big flathead. Jeez, look at that. Now what are we gonna do with it? Fish hammered. Look at that flathead. God, slime my line all up. Come here. Look at that guys. I mean, I seriously, I thought I had big mama back here in this pocket setting up the spawn. Nasty bite. Beautiful flathead. <laughs> it's gonna wrap it up, man. I mean, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. Subscribe to the channel. Post frontal conditions can be really tough in the spring. In the fall, it turns them on. In the spring, it shuts them down. Get in the areas where you think the fish are going to and slow down, flip, you know, a jig, a beaver, tube, something slow. Get it close to the hard cover. Look for rocks, laydowns, things like that, grass lines. Just slow down. You'll pick up a few bites. You know, we caught a few bites. We caught one good bass, some decent bass, and big old fatty flathead. That was fun, man. Ah. Live streams on Monday nights, 730 Central. Until next time. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs>